your daily hour with me. Yeah! Hey everybody, it's the program. It's also Monday. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day to turn on machines and we start talking. That's right, we talked for an hour. Here we go, it is Monday. It's the beginning of the week. We do the thing, we get through the weeks and I know uh, what day it is. You know what, I think of Mondays as the first day of the week, but uh, officially it is the second day of the week. Yeah, but they call it the weekend. I've said this a lot of times, but they call it the weekend. But it's like, why is Sunday and the weekend? It's the week, week beginning. Where's the, um, that one with the gray, the one with the gray? Yeah, where's the gray one? That's a good mic. Oh, it's, I see it there. It's down on the floor. Under the computer. Yeah. That's the best mic of the bunch. Oh. Hey. Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. This is the third day of year six. I don't know how long we can keep track of that, but right now it still feels fresh in my memory. Sunday since we've moved into our new year. You're defining your future year with today's episode, perhaps. That's the way I think about the first and end, last of anything. It's like both of those are like the biggest determinant of what the whole is. I feel pretty lucky because <clears throat> I've been on so many episodes that <clears throat> are the beginning of something, like the beginning of a season or the end of a season or something, uh, or days where there's some sort of a number combination that's that's interesting. You there's know, one, two, three, four. Truly a lot of chances four, for that three, to happen, two, though, too. You know, it's like... I think you're right, but you've only really, you could have only possibly hit one seventh of those events. Yeah. You know, probably. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. there's, you know, it's Monday. Yeah. Early. Well, in addition to that, uh, occasionally I will appear on the studio episodes. That's that true. Yeah. Fridays. That's true. I don't usually uh, appear in those because I'm busy working. <laughs> right. And I always have this urge, just like, I just need one minute to go in and run in and say hello everybody you probably do have that minute you just you could just you just got to make sure it's like i will do that do next it. time it's a whole hour but um one of the things you might not know out there viewers on those episodes uh, dan often does sets up some of the lighting for those i sure like doing that yeah yeah I so I you like did, the, did you the do the lighting last month um with sean and uh i did oh good i did and uh, uh, there's a little bit of an annoyance because you know I'm supposed to be uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be working, <laughs> uh, but instead I'm taking you know about 10 minutes I figure usually 10-15 minutes uh, to set up all the lights. Ooh, a fire truck! And uh, it's difficult because uh, some of the folks in there don't understand that the first thing you got to do is the lighting. Uh, because that that uh, rolling ladder, that rolling staircase uh, that I move around, uh, when the cameras come out or audio cables come out or any of that, uh, I can't move that ladder around because they interfere. I can't run over the cords. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that thing is uh, about 300 pounds. Whoa. And, uh, you know, that might damage the cable. So... So uh, I try not to run over them, and I find myself moving stuff out of my way so I can get to one of the lights up above and move it and point it and, you know, uh, swap out diffusion for a color gel or something like that. Or Yeah, yeah, it's not Lighting. difficult, but i got to hurry and do it because people are walking around. But it's also, you know, we've done it. There's been times when we haven't done it, and we just turned on the lights that were there, and it it's not like, you know, it's good to have well-thought-out lighting, but... If we just forget to set up lighting at all, it's really not the biggest thing in the world. Well, right? no, that's true. But I, I have two things in mind uh, where the program is happening. I want to light that up and not uh, have uh, light from a colored gel land on the on the key. Ano on is that the, another fire truck? Yeah, that's the second one. The first one was a ladder truck. Uh, what does that one do? That one holds uh, the water or something? Yeah, that was a regular one. That's one that shows up whenever there's a paramedic call. Oh, yeah, it seems smaller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Truck. Yeah, it's a good uh, 10 feet shorter, I think. Yep, yep. And the ladder trucks, they usually have some, some person in the very back that steers the back wheels. Ah. So, so oh, the yeah. thing can get around corners. You can do Tokyo Drift. Huh? I, I imagine you'd have to do some training on that one. They got to drive all the time even when they're just driving around? The well, because people? because the truck is so long, uh, it, it would have to swing way out just to get around a corner. Is Whereas it longer than a semi? 
than a no, semi truck? It's at least as long as a semi. Like if semi's they pivot in the middle, is that where it makes a difference? Uh, they do have a pivot point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, close to the, well, maybe a third of it is where it pivots. Yeah. Where the fire truck doesn't pivot. They should just put ladders on top of buses, and then anyone on the bus route could, like, they could just climb up. I always thought they should combine all of those. Like, taxi drivers and police officers should be combined, and maybe like buses and fire trucks. I guess it would like if you were on your way to somewhere and the bus had to pull over and set like put out a fire. That might be tricky, but I would. If you I want to ride the bus. You have to be a firefighter. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like, oh, <laughs> I <laughs> people we're gonna fight this fire right now. I'm I a volunteer would, firefighter now. I ride the bus. I would tend to think that the fire and police would combine as a as a as a unit. Before. I think taxi drivers and police because they're already going everywhere, but they might as well be doing a, a public service and yeah. also and like take people. Yeah, sometimes I think that you see the police going by and you're like, you're walking somewhere and you're like, those people are, they're work for me in a way, right? Can I just like plug him down? Like, hey. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny? You call a cab and the cab driver comes out and says, oh, hey, by the way, listen, there are warrants for you. Get, oh. <laughs> get in the back. Yeah, that'd be easy. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting a ride, but you're not going where you think you're going. You're going downtown. I guess, yeah. To the who's cap. You get, you're on. That, you know, I'm headed to a high crime area. Just like pick me up. You know, you're headed there anyway. I'm headed there. Let's just go there together. And then, you know, they have to stop and, you know, pull someone else over. And then you got an extra rider, but they don't go to the jail first. They like take you to your spot. I think it'd be. I think it would work out. <laughs> would that be funny if a whole bunch of cabs showed up at somebody's apartment and all the police got out? Oh yeah. Arrested everyone and I think st- stuck them all in the back of the cabs and took them off. Charged them for the fare. Um, yeah. But if oh, man, you'd be charged for the ride. Yeah. You get arrested, and you're stuck in the back of a cab, and you get charged for it. Really, I guess it'd be better if, since they're public servants anyway, it would be free. That's the way it should work. But I guess if people, the taxi drivers already don't like that Uber thing, so maybe that would be even worse. I've been reading about that Uber thing. and Do we uh, even have that here? Is that a thing? That not, not here in Washington. Yeah, uh, it is in Washington. Is it really? Like Seattle? They, I see it advertised on, on the line. It's kind of is, in local area. Is it the big pink mustaches people put on their car? I think you can get it here. Really? In uh, Thurston County, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's, now, that's isn't it smart. just ride sharing or something? Yeah, I think or there's anybody who wants to sign up for it anywhere. Oh. It's like an internet thing. Whoa, that's awesome. And then it's on your smartphone. You And then you just are driving around. You would just... Yeah. Like you say, I'm going somewhere. But they, they pay you? I don't know. I'm not sure how it works. You have your phone and your phone says, there is a wanted rider in your area. Link. Huh. So if you're just like hanging out, not really doing anything, it's like, oh, look, I go drive someone somewhere. It's yeah. like, that seems like a fun activity. Yeah. How How is car maintenance and gas paid for? That's the it's only not, thing. It's not, I'm sure. I mean, that's like, it's just your regular car. They're not, they're not paying you. It's like a, it's like a personal, you're not working for Uber. You just can be... It's like people. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, people oh, helping yeah. other people. Seems like well, for, money, yeah. for money. Well, imagine, yeah, five bucks for gas. Okay, thanks. You know, something like that. Well, something like that. I don't know. I don't know that much about it. I've just heard that uh, Uber is really popular here, or there, and there's some other company that has another name that kind of works similarly, and they compete with each other, and they have little turf wars and. And yeah, stuff like that. It's What's the other company? Just like regular taxis? Yellow taxi or no, something? No, no, no. It's I it's got to be. That's who's I upset about it. It's just like classic taxi drivers. Oh, yeah. I guess they would be. They have to do. They have to pay all this stuff to the city to like work there and get oh, all kinds of permits and stuff. Oh, fees and licenses and yeah. permits and and yeah. And Uber yeah. people don't have to do that. And they have to be certified, and the cars have to be certified. I'm sure. Mm. Oh yeah, that would be expensive. Yeah. How, how was the week, Dan? Uh, the week went pretty good. Uh, uh, I'm working on a, a spaceship model. Uh, I try and work on it every night, but I'm distracted by my girlfriend, so I don't always work on it. But uh, last night, uh, I had the day off. It was kind of weird. My grandson stayed until about 1 o'clock, and then my daughter visited, and then she went home, and my girl... Uh-oh. my what was that? Is that just like an info button, or did something stop? I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was info. Is there an info button? You can just push it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now it's been stopped for four hours. Oh, well, that's enough time. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, four days from now. Oh, I used some to. There any more. Let's see. <laughs> if I use them all, I use them all and then walk. Oh, I see. I see a napkin. What you What you do? You don't need to. Yeah. Eat, like a oh, face I napkin. Oh. Yeah. It's a hit for my hands, but it's okay. Um. Well, what you What you do, Dan? What you say? Oh, I'm working on a spaceship. Spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. I started this one a couple years ago, and uh, I was contacted by a person that was making uh, a web series, and uh, the web series was about. Uh, a group of colonists that were leaving Earth and the, and the spaceship uh, that takes them from Earth to one of the moons, Mars or one of the moons of Jupiter, uh, possibly a moon of, moon of Saturn or two or something like that, that this spaceship takes months and months and months to go from the Earth to Mars or one of the moons of Jupiter like, uh, like Europa or, or something like that, Callisto or the Earth's moon or uh, something like that and it takes a long time and this colony ship has a social strata where the people in the up, upper deck level levels are wealthy and affluent and they're used to a certain standard of living and you know their wealth and this sort of thing and then the farther lower in the decks you go uh, the poor the poor and poor and poor and poor uh, the, the, the travelers are and yeah and so the the web series was about particular people on the ship as they traveled uh and their interactions with each other and uh this sort of thing so it was uh it was kind of an interesting thing and and so i started drawing pictures and then i would email pictures uh to her and uh then she would say i like this i like that change this change that and so I would make changes, uh, and then I would uh, draw more pictures and send those, and, and she'd change her mind about things, and then I would add things and remove things and adjust the shape and style. Lots of things. Yeah, until I arrived at kind of like a final look that she wanted, and uh, the ship had certain functions that she wanted. Oh, are you make? Is it, are we still talking about the the model you're making? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's how it started. It's not anything that I would have built myself at all yeah that's what most engineers say about the final product of pretty much anything when they're like yeah it's like well you know it's a pretty good plane but if yeah. it was just me in charge let me tell you yeah let me tell you i would have built it totally different and so uh about a year ago uh she wanted some modifications and she said listen uh i'm gonna send you some legal documents giving me the rights to the image of the ship and the shape of the ship and all this whoa and and i said uh uh i'm not comfortable with that because the front of the ship is similar to other ships that i've painted many many times different it's kind of an essential uh shape with a with a uh, just kind of kind of it's a similar shape that I've done. It's a similar shape to a lot of spaceships that you see Yeah, on, so she's uh, trying is, is that a patent movies. or just like uh, she wanted it she wanted to uh, Copyright the image huh and she wanted me to sign that and I said well what I really want is Sounds I want paranoid to, to me. She's afraid someone's gonna try to steal it or something. Oh, it's it's about controlling uh, having a having control of the 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 things and stuff of her web series. Uh -huh. She wanted she wanted to be able to. She didn't want me to make other ships like that. And I told her uh, in uh, as we went back and forth that I had no interest in building a ship like this again uh -huh. uh, because it was really giant and it was really unique and everything. Uh, but I wanted to be able to paint spaceships um, with similar kinds of elements, not necessarily the rings or the the engines or or things like that, but I wanted I wanted the freedom to be able to continue creating art with some similar elements, and she wasn't happy with that. And I said, also, uh, uh, you want me to make these rings spin, and I need a very specialized motor and uh, a gearing system to be able to make these rings, because it's got like the primary the primary front part, which is kind of like the head. Uh, the very front and then there's a series of three rings that slowly spin 
and then behind those are engines and then behind those are these movable solar panels and uh, I've been having trouble finding the right kind of elements to make these solar panels be able to move up and down and turn independently each one and there are uh, 12 of them well wow. and so finding the materials and uh, finding the means to make them stiff enough to hold their position but also able to be able to articulate and move uh, that was a tricky part and having them move together uh, uh, yeah yeah uh, just kind of a, an engineering challenge uh, that I was not used to and then finding the parts or retooling things uh, to make it able to do what she wanted and so I said listen I'm I need to charge you more because this is this has become uh, more difficult than I imagined because I can't find the parts and pieces and I don't have the tools to be able to machine the elements that you want in the way you want them done and so uh, it uh, uh, so was she happy about a that? A month She's later, like, yeah. I didn't hear from her for a month, and then she contacted me, and she said, listen, this, this whole project is way more ambitious than I had originally planned, and it's, uh, I've had cost overruns uh, in ways and things that I just don't want to go into, and the ship is included. So I'm going to put the, put the project on hold until I do other things. I'm busy in my life doing other things. And so... Um, uh, go ahead and do what you want with the ship, and uh, uh, if you want to keep on working on it, I'm fine with that, but, but uh, that's for your own personal interest if you want to continue it. And I said, okay, that sounds great. So I put the ship away for a while, and then I uh, uh, started working on it um, this you spring. A bit? Pardon? Did you pay you a little bit? No, nope, nothing. No? Hasn't oh. paid me a dime. So it's mine, all mine. And you think uh, she maybe, uh, you know, maybe in the future? Might. Well, what I'm going to do is I am nearly finished uh, this front section. What I need to do is uh, paint the stuff. I'm uh, The front section has these two open parts that are, uh, well, the whole ship itself is supposed to have the feel of a whale uh, with kind of a flat front squarey top and with a rounded underside, and then the rings are uh, a similar diameter to the, to the front part, and then the, the two engines uh, are fin-like, or they, they feel like fins, and then the solar panels are also like fins, and to have kind of a tail that comes out. So that's the whole idea, is to, to give it a, a, sea, a sea mammal, like a whale, or a humpback whale, or a dolphin, or a porpoise, or or uh, orca or one of these kinds of animals so walrus. Uh, uh, walrus without the fangs without the tusks a seal. something like that maybe uh, like a sea it's sea more lion. like a whale because the front end is kind of blunt and it gets biggest at the back end of the front section and then just slowly tapers down as you go to the back like like you know like Sea animals, like, uh, sea mammals. Um, what are those? Uh, manatee. Yeah, well, I wanted to give it uh, something like a, a blue whale or a sperm whale kind of a look. Or possibly a humpback whale, something like that. Something where the, f the head is kind of blunted. It's, it doesn't have a, a, a long, pointy front head. So, so I've got these open areas, and I've been putting decks... And I'm calling them gills because that's about where gills would be on a shark or most fish. They're kind of like uh, the on the lower, the Do lower. Whales half. don't have gills. No, they don't. But I just kind of <clears throat> decided that's what I want to do. Yeah, whales are mammals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to I call Carl. Where's Carl? Where is Carl? Yeah, Carl. We're about where? to play the first dice game, and he's not even here. Yeah. What's yeah, What's there. going on? Where are you, Carl? What's so important that you're doing that instead of this? Whoa, write a number on your hand between one and six. Oh, yeah, get a pen out. All right. Um, oh, here's a pen. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't step on any tapes. All 
the tapes that we make are under our feet and a half. Yeah, we're standing on all of the past episodes. We record episodes and we put it where we stand. Yeah, Hello. I like it. Feel free to leave a detailed message detailed. at the end of this message. I think he means a long message. Yeah. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Oh, I got a number, yeah. One for more options. Hey, Carl. How detailed of a message can you get? Like, you want us to say what we're doing and all this stuff, or did like leave out some details? Because usually messages like, hey, call me back. Okay, bye. I mean, yeah, we do want you to call us back, but if you want it to be really detailed, we're about 16 minutes into the program. Dan's been talking about uh, the spaceship he's building, and uh, we're about to roll his dice. What number do you want, Carl? Three, 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 three. Oh, uh, uh, one. Oh, that is not a three. I have a I two. accidentally uh, kept my girlfriend's debit card. She had me go get a thing for it. I uh -oh. forgot to give it back. She wanted to go to the store while I was uh, here doing the program, but she can't now because. Dan, I, where's my money? I have her debit card. No. Money. She's not mad. She's just like, oh shit. And I'm she's like, hungry. oh shit. That's what I wrote her back. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Maybe she's hungry. Oh, Carl. Oh, there's food at my place. Carl, Dan took his worry. girlfriend's credit card. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to erase message review. Credit debit. Hey, Carl. How detailed of a message can you get? Like, you want us to say what we're doing, all this stuff, or just like leave out some details? Because usually messages like, "Hey, call me back." Okay, bye. I mean, yeah. We uh, want you to call us back, but if you want it, yeah, it sounds pretty good. I am satisfied with my message. Yeah, that's <laughs> how we, we sound like over the phone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that comes in pretty clear. What's the name oh, of that ship, you, by the way? Just it's called a, the London. Oh, why do they call it the London? Well, it was uh, what she wanted it to be uh she wanted it kind of steampunk is that a boat yeah what the heck how did that show up well, who's driving a boat in the did that boat show up on the, on the dice game it it is traveling in the sea of traffic but there was like whoa oh it's got a little cabin in the back there was is that like, what that is that little house in the back a little boat house there wasn't a boat and then we a little the tall thing we in the back, back of the boat. boat oh oh i'm going go back oh. Oh, go away, boat. It's driving oh, away. it's got a little house in the back. Come back, boat. The boat is driving away. That was weird. Wow, the things you see on the streets. You know, you don't expect to see a boat in the middle of downtown. Well, yeah, that was a most in interesting thing on the street I've seen today. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. But I was so, thinking of naming the episode after the boat. Or the the, um, the spaceship, but if it's called the London, I'm not gonna do that. I thought it was gonna be some kind of like weird name, like Shuplau or like the the Diamond of the Sky. You know. Well, there are two large paintings that I painted, and um, one of them uh, is what kind of looks like an aircraft carrier. If it's the London, they should you should like put a giant clock on it. Like that, big um, ben. yeah, or a big tower. Ben. No, just a big old clock. They, they just took the big Ben tower and then brought it into space with them. Now that would be interesting. Well, she wasn't sure what to call it, and I said, "Listen, I don't care what you want to call it. I just need to give it some sort of a designation." <laughs> and she said, "Well, the series kind of focuses on the hierarchy and casts and and social strata." That people can't move How far between. Did you, did you make the series at all? Huh? She, she had written the pilot episode and three or four episodes. She had Maybe gotten that far. Yet yeah, she had a pool of actors that she had gotten commitments from. She uh, was uh, that, working that on the station? screenplay. Wait. Oh, Dead Drift comes out in two weeks. Whoa! I, really? Yeah, the I one built with your spaceships. Yeah, yeah, oh. I built uh, three, four space models for that. That's maybe exciting. we can just call this dead drift. Then maybe I don't know. Whatever. Dead you guys drift. No, I should. I should. Those, talk about. those were the first commissioned uh, space models that I ever made. Is yeah. Be on yeah. He. Oh. He's Ken, gonna put that on the channel. Ken paid me well. Uh, I. I don't. I. There are webisodes. 
uh, they're intended to go on the web. If I they should go on the TCTV. You should I, talk to him about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he's a former member. They could put it on after the program. On yeah. Mondays. Yeah. Each episode is like ten minutes. You should tell him to get the twelve thirty spot on Monday. Mondays. Okay. Okay, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, he has reworked the comedy. Uh, there are a series of actors. Uh, he built internal sets for the engine room and for the bridge. Uh, yeah, he's he's done all kinds of all kinds of work. He's been working on this for like three years now. And uh, every once in a while, he'll post on Facebook. He's like, "Don't give up. I haven't. It's just these things take time. I have a day job. You know, I have a life. You know, so doing this project." Spaceship stuff takes a long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got a bunch of messages. Oh, let's hear it. Who who left a message? It's. Let's see. Uh, Last night on at 11:30, it was Sunday. Yeah, I could hardly hear you guys when you guys so called I'm last night. Here watching oh. with me. And motherfucking, I think. Well, I'm going to take that last joint or the last roach from the joint. I'm going to stick it in a can pipe. I'm going to smoke it. So I go to rip the top off the can. Fuck you. Cut it out. Hey, yourself? Huh? Someone talking to him? He cut his finger. Is he okay? Is that the end of the message? Did you hear that? No, we didn't. That's exactly how much I get at a time. <laughs> what? <laughs> that means to watch your video. He's got a buffer problem. I have to sit here for like two to five minutes, and then however long that was, ten seconds. Yeah. Right. Is that to leave a message? Then, no, to watching watch on YouTube. I'm going to hear you say 10 more seconds worth of shit in about 5 minutes. 3 5 minutes. Ooh, huh. that's tough. Holy motherfucker. And I see some people driving by. He was up at 7 a.m. leaving a message? Yeah. Watching yeah, the program. Yeah, I do. Impressive. Impressive. What, you got a dumpster outside in your fucking... Thing. No. Don't make me come down there and take a dump in your dumpster. What <laughs> 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 the fuck, over? Anyway, I cut the piss out of my fucking finger and I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. Look out, marijuana genius. You know, what a thirty county pig. Um, yeah, I'm bleeding like a stuck pig, motherfucker. There's a bleeding everywhere. So I wrapped it up. I wrapped it up. Wrapped my finger up with a bunch of toilet paper. Yeah. I figured that's good first aid. Yep, yep, yep. So, fuck him. Then I seen Sean Downey return to oh, yeah, YDHWM. Huh? One. One down and the said crazy shit. Yeah, that was great. Like a crazy shit person. I really like his music. I and mean, I would not have crazy. I like the Downey like Brothers. Fuck. Uh, I keep that motherfucker in his tank. What? Do you like Jar fucking loose and freaking actual word coming out of his fucking mouth? <laughs> you didn't get it? Not any way, motherfucker. What's going down? You're obviously going to be sitting on a couch in front of the fucking window now. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Look at our window. Our beautiful window. Yeah. It's our magic window. We can make it show whatever we want. Look, it's the other side of the room. Whoa. Oh. Look, it's that, remember, remember that, um, that blanket? Yeah. It's behind us. It's been with the program from the beginning, yeah. hasn't it? Almost. Almost? Okay. Well, I mean, not counting the radio, uh, the first radio uh, episodes. Well, we got, we got more office. What is the hottest day of the week? Sunday? Uh, One, five, oh, Friday. Eight, two, it's eight. Friday. <laughs> Sunday or Friday. Did you know what I'm saying? 
motherfucker. I think it's Friday. <laughs> Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, what are you doing? He's leaving weird messages. He's le he's pausing a lot. No. No, you don't want to get kicked in the cut. No. Well, fuck that. Yeah, nobody you likes that. Kicked in the cut, motherfucker. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can say about it. I don't give a fuck if you say it. no. They know all you want, motherfucker. I'm coming down there to get in your cut anyway. No. Just for fucking fun, motherfucker. No, no, and don't take a dump in our dumpster now. either. Yeah. Although, yeah. I think that would be pretty funny. What do you think about that? <laughs> I like that. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, I like that. Whoosh. Well, Mr. Ginsu is <laughs> leaving us messages. I'm glad he's watching the show again, though. On YouTube, yeah. Well, he left <laughs> several more, too. I guess we just need to go through all these. He left all these pretty much in a row. Oh, You're going the other way. There we go. That's the way. Carl. I have a question for you. Who the fuck Good thinks you're getting kicked off the bus? I've seen the title of the show, Kicked Off the Bus. Now, whenever next time you motherfucking call on my ass, um, I want you to tell me some asshole story about some asshole bus driver kicking you. Somebody off the bus. Uh, that's what you think, but it's not that. Okay. Huh? It's a story. The girl yelled at her boyfriend. Kick well, him off the bus. Angel, um, the girl was a bus driver? Oh, Manny. Oh, she she will help you out. She didn't have the authority to. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do. She's well, pretty smart, authority. Joe. So, <laughs> there were two passengers, and yeah. the girlfriend <laughs> of one of the passengers... Fuck. I'm hoping this fucking motherfucker uh, told another it. passenger to get off. Wait, hold on. What's yeah. Mr. Gensu saying? Something here in a second, that's fucking hard to say. Um, I don't fucking quite know what to say. Oh, uh, he doesn't know. Kind of like say. doing your daily hour yeah. with me, I know except for it's not with your daily hour with me. It's your daily hour with you, and then sometimes. You allow me to fucking stick my two cents in there, advice. Oh. You're allowed. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Sounds like he's watching the episodes. You know, the titles The titles are a thing that they don't it's always do. It's cooling down. It ain't cooling down. It can't cool down hell. Oh. Motherfucker. Who do you think you are trying to cool down hell? Yeah. He's commenting on the episode. Um, cool down now. Uh, smart ass comment I was about to freaking let you have, but the inside just got ripped out of my fucking gourd. God damn, I did grow some good weed. That's why he's not, <laughs> this not smoking weed like thing. In a good cadence, because I think he's start smoking, smoking weed. weed again, oh, oh, that right. really fucks with you. <laughs> And you cut your hand. Oh, he's lost it's blood and he smoked weed. Yeah. He's done for a while. Yeah, marijuana he is, he is doubly, doubly impaired. Blood loss and uh, pot enhancement. Um, I well, go to the hospital and say I'm dying. The danger of like marijuana, you can open a pan. You cut yourself while I'm trying to make a bomb. You know, a lot of people do that. I yeah, cut my hand real good on a can lid. Whatever, if you feel like you're gonna die, if you feel like you're gonna die, but, um... Feel like you're gonna die? That's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, no. No, you can try to remedy that. That's kind of bad. It's like, I feel like I'm gonna die. Uh, I guess that's how life is now. Like, <laughs> oh. I, I cut my, uh, thumb. Like, this part of my thumb right there. Yeah? Uh, when? when? Yeah, oh, there wow. you go. Right there, I... I don't know if you can see the scar anymore, but I cut it from there. All the way across. Uh, I, think I was that playing with a the can lid and went. The oh, can, yeah. Watch out for cans. Yeah, I think you can sort of see the scar. Yeah, and oh, oh I bled like crazy. Ooh, ooh Freddie got a burn. Oh, wow. It looks better than I did before, though. Wow. Does it still hurt? Yep. 
It looks better than it did before. How did you burn yourself anyway? With a cookie sheet. You want to do the, the next thing? Yeah, let's do the next thing. Dan, you yeah. ready for this? You got something to say, Dan? Yeah, I got something to say. Let's see how well I can do. See if I can do better than last time. Personally, I have my doubts. I should have memorized it already, but I don't like shooting on myself, so I just... Nope. Shooting. Shooting. I don't like shooting on myself. Oh, yeah, that's good. You're watching your daily hour with me. It's a 20... It's a <laughs> call-in talk show that happens every day at 11.30 p.m. Uh, and... Uh, oh, shit. 2010. So if you're watching this episode on Channel 22 at 11:30, it aired. It was shot the previous week, and the 2 a.m. episode is from the same day of the same month last year. Each episode of the program. Ah, oh crap. Uh, we rely on people from the community. I missed the phone number. Uh, send <laughs> send us a message, and we'll call you back. And, oh, I did even worse. <laughs> I did even worse. Oh, my God, I did even worse. Oh. Good job, Dan. You did oh, it. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, that was, was a right. sad, Maybe the viewers sad read it as it fail. went by, Bob, maybe. Yeah, it's like if I said it in my own words, I could get all the same information out, but reading it and that crazy font of yours, <laughs> it you, drives me crazy. I like it, though. Claim, uh... Success. Here's something that everybody can win. And actually you can't win or lose the info time. It's there's success, fail, no, there's not. Yeah. You didn't you didn't do well, it. You did fine. But yeah. The show uh, was taped a week before it airs and there's a two AM episode from last year and there's a phone number involved um, somehow. But I think I think we need to remember to do this. Roll more dice. No, we got um oh, we're working yeah. oh, on what the is that? Audio. We're working on the Cream of the County Awards for 2015, oh, so sweet. you have to I answer a that. couple questions here. Um, each page, or each, like, each two page for each category. Oh, okay, two pages category. Okay, so best pizza in Thurston County. Uh, oh, best yeah. pizza. I don't eat this pizza. This is Dan Bennett's best pizza in Thurston County. I'm just going to say Vicks. So one, one vote is the name, and then after that is the checks. You know what? No. Okay, no well, I changed my mind. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to say Vix. I'm going to say Papa Murphy's. One, one vote One vote is the name, and then after after one, then we'll do the check marks. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to say Papa Murphy's. They really load it up, and you can stand there and say, add this, don't add that, because they make it right in front of you. You right are, like that. That's the first take and bake pizza that's... <coughs> Been nominated. Sorry. Really? I really like them. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do all that cheese. Best. So, so here we go. What's the best much. noodles? Hospital. Best Hospital. noodles? Um, best noodles in Thurston County. Uh, Thai Garden. On the mall. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the place that's down there in the corner. Best TV Just show. two blocks from here. Best TV show. The Thai place. In Thurston County. Best TV show. Your daily hour with me. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to get some trophies or something. Oh, yeah. We Last year we tried to make our trophies, but we ended up finding some. I saw some at like the the thrift stores. Maybe we should just keep looking around and try to get as many as we. Can yeah. Thrift stores and find them, and then maybe. You see them show this, and they're usually pretty cheap. We should just start getting some more again. We got to do it. Yeah, if we don't have enough, we can do the cans. Again. I didn't have a trophy, oh, yeah. so I made my own. Uh huh. And it was a giant plastic nut and bolt. Uh huh. Oh, I saw uh, that. It was a kid's house. toy. Yeah. What was it for? Uh, I wanted my own trophy, and so I put a little sticker uh, on the bottom. It said "Nut of the Year." Huh. Oh, you, 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 you yes, I awarded you, my own trophy to we, me. We took it a step further and created our own award ceremony just to give ourselves an award. That's I true. know. I was yeah. there for the last one, and it was great. And I think this Cream of the County just right rocked. Second annual Cream of the County Award. We uh, we won last year. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we won again. We <laughs> there will be another one. Oh, yeah. We'll sticker on that award. Oh, yeah. Two years running. Yeah. Um, best street in Thurston County. Best street? Uh... Oh, I... This is Dan 
Bennett's answer for best street in Thurston County for the 2015 Harrison. Cream of the County Awards. Harrison. All the things that you want are along Harrison. Maybe most. Most of the things that you want are along we Harrison. Got, is it, are we doing best steak? Best steak in Thurston County? Yeah. Wow. It, best steak? Yeah. What's going on today? Like best steak, though, I'm just uh, Fukushima. That's not it, is it? Fukushima? Is that a little restaurant down there on uh, Fukushima. Cooper Fujiyama. Point? Fujiyama. Fujiyama. Sorry. Fukushima was the uh, uh, nuclear meltdown in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, thank right, you. So the last question we have for now is the best burger in Thurston County. Best burger? Best. Oops. Yeah. Well, I wasn't. I, my mic was off. Sorry. The best burger. The last one we got to ask you right now is best burger in Thurston County. Oh, Big Tom's. Big Tom's. I love their burgers. Okay, uh, very add good. Another category. Yeah, you got. You can. You you can. You have now a chance to add a category, Dan. Um, what is your category and winner? Best corner grocery store. Is that a convenient? Like convenient yeah, yeah. How about that? Best convenience. Uh, store best. Okay. Yeah. I like uh, Adam Adam Market. I've got a few more if you want. Oh well, yeah. Well, what's your best convenience store? Oh, best convenience store? store. Uh, it's the oh man, it's right across the street from where you used to live. That one across the street. It's Westside Food Mart. Westside Food Mart. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best one. I've gotten to know uh, the three or four people that have been working there for years. Same folks. Tony. Um, and I, and I, the owner. Uh, I've had long conversations with him. He used to didn't talk to me, but then I started talking to him a little bit. And every time I'd come in, we'd talk a little more and talk a little more. Now it's like, how's me. the wife and kids? <laughs> my, my vote for best uh, convenience store is Frog Pond over on the oh, deep yeah. area in the south downtown area. That's a good one. They're really... Got a good selection and really nice owner operator. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good choice. Best in Thurston County, yeah, in my opinion. One, you want to put another category in there? Uh, best park. Ah. That's a good one. I think we did that last year. But nobody. This is one of the things that we get, like best street and park and stuff. Maybe we don't have to even give them awards. Like oh. we can give awards. We well, we want to. We want to give awards to. Like, uh, give the awards to the people who are there to get the awards. But if they're not, I mean, that's kind of what we did last year. Well, my, yeah. my favorite park, I uh, know we who the... some oh. plaques. Like oh, plaques, a plaque, yeah. Plaques for streets and stuff, but maybe awards for people. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. What's your favorite, or uh, not favorite, it's not favorite park, this is the best. best. The best, best park. park. The best park uh, is the West Central Park. It's a new one. It's a one kitty corner corner from, from Grocery Outlet, yeah. That park is like the worst park to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no swing set or trees or anything. Oh man, like they have it. gardens. They have tomatoes and mm. squash and corn and and uh, dill weed and and dill weed. <laughs> yeah, I love dill. I love the smell of fresh dill. I just go up there and I will just rub my hand on it and smell my hand. I love the smell of dill. Yeah, smelling. I'm gonna say barefoot from me. Uh, that's a damn good park too. But I'm just really psyched about the West Central because because it was a vacant lot that looked like crap for a long time and they turned it into something beautiful. They you know that, planted that trees and, and it's uh, they have events there oh, and and uh, 7 Farmer's Market is there on <laughs> Wednesdays. I'm upset that they, they, they're like, whoa, we're going to buy it out of 7-Eleven. We don't like 7-Eleven. Uh, they have a little sandwich truck that is there. They have all kinds of artwork they put there. What's that part? Uh, they that? do composting in the back end. Uh, they own the building next to it. That sounds like, it. I know it is a park, but that doesn't sound like the things you usually expect of a park, maybe. No, so. no, it's really small, and so it's really compacted. Yeah. What were you saying, though, about the other park? The one park that's like... Lots of woods that's like kind of like on the way to 
Like you leave downtown, it's like kind of by like the Wheeler Street, you know, over there. I don't know Watershed. Oh, is that Watershed Park? Like that Watershed is a park. cool park. Oh, Maybe I'll put that one in. That, that's it's got well, a path see, that goes were, all the way around. If you're yours, I would put my vote towards Burfoot Park because I think Burfoot Park. No, I'll just leave Burfoot. And leave okay, Burfoot I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, you're well. Go for Watershed just to mix it up. Yeah, I don't know. Have you walked the whole circuit inside yeah, that watershed? I did. Yeah. I did. It's got like a couple little bridges and a little it's creek got, that runs through. And it has berries that yeah. you can pick. I'm, gonna call I'm going for Watershed Park. Yeah, that's a good choice. But I, I walk through West Central Park all the time, and I, I'm just so happy to see its slow transformation. Yeah. From so vacant lot to little benches. It's not a city art. park, right? It's not a state or city park. No, it's, it's privately some... owned by a 501c3 organization. Huh. Hello? Hello? Mr. Kinsu! You're awake. What's going on? I thought maybe you'd be sleeping because you were calling us at seven, about six or eight a.m. almost. Yeah, that's crazy hour to call. You waking up earlier now? I thought you might be there because I thought you were calling me at crazy hour of the day. Yeah, but you slept. You didn't wake up early. You you stayed up all night, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talked to you at ten a.m. and now we're talking to you or ten p.m. last night. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. It was. Oh, never mind. All mixed up. Wait, we talked guys, to you yesterday, you, you and you didn't go to sleep. Have you, have you been to sleep since we talked to you last on the program? Right. When was the last time you went to sleep? Did you sleep from like maybe you slept from like 8:30 till now? I don't think I went to sleep. You haven't been sleeping at all in the last like almost 24 hours. I guess not. Is that how do you feel? Maybe I did. Maybe I slept. No, I slept. I got up. I remember. Okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just like sitting around in a chair and you kind of doze off when you wake up and you're still doing the same kind of thing. It's like, what? No, I've never dozed off sitting in a chair. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hey, um, I used to do that when I was single. Were you were you uh, reading? Are you, were you watching the program last down. That this morning? Were you watching the YouTube videos yeah, this morning? Face, falling asleep in a chair. Were you watching the YouTube videos uh, this morning, Mr. Ginsu? Yeah, that's what happened last Dude, time. what? Were you watching the YouTube videos this morning? Is that what you were saying in your messages? And you cut your hand? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think you can understand How, me. How's your hand? Yeah. Oh, I cut my fucking finger, motherfucker. How, how that, did you... Yeah. yeah, how did you cut it? I can. I was yanking the tab off. And the tab cut me whenever it went by. It went by my finger and cut me good one. Like, like, uh, how how bad you have to go? You want to go to the doctor or anything, you know? huh? Stitches? No, no stitches. Not that bad, but almost that bad. What are you doing about it? Nothing. It quit bleeding. So I said, "Fuck it." You mean I put some uh, alcohol on it or something? Neosporin no. or something? Bandy? Uh, no, I never do nothing. I don't know where my knee is pouring into that. Mar marijuana is dangerous. Why? You cut yourself. Well, actually, taking the top off the can is freaking <laughs> yeah. uh, dangerous. Right? Yeah. Cans should be illegal. Which finger did you cut? What, pointer finger? <laughs> You, you don't have a right. bandage? You don't have a bandage? Oh, when I was a kid, I was uh, getting a can lid off of a can. It hadn't come off all the way, and so I was, like, trying to get it off. <laughs> and I cut a big, huge, long slice in my thumb. I bled oh, like crazy, bro. and then I passed out from blood loss. Ah. <laughs> and my friend... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I started going into convulsions. My friend tells me this later. He says, you were in the bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I cut it. And so I go in the bathroom to wash it off and try and uh, wrap it up with toilet paper. And it just bled right through that. I lost tons of blood. Got blood all over uh, from the kitchen all the way to the bathroom. And then I passed out <laughs> on the bathroom floor. And my, my body was convulsing. And 
He almost got killed by a cat. Well, you were in shock. Yeah, I was. I was totally in shock, and he pissed himself, literally. He did? He was so freaked out. Oh, yeah. my God, what a pair you two are. <laughs> we were like 12, 11, 12 years old. <laughs> we were parents come home, they're just like, oh. <laughs> what? What? You're covered, you're covered in blood, he's covered in piss, and you're passed yep. out, and he's just like freaked out, like, <laughs> like, like rocking in the corner. Yep. Yep. And then his brother that's gets home, and he's hilarious. like, listen, uh, you should call your parents and get to the doctor. That's a really big slice there. You need stitches. It was so big, in fact, I could see the muscle uh, inside. I was, like, moving around and looking at it. Uh, right before, oh, I, right, right before I passed out. <laughs> Ooh, this is wild, because it stopped hurting. I guess the endorphins kicked in or something, or you know, blood That's loss to the head. I, I wasn't really thinking clearly. I was just looking at my muscle flex. You know, for the first time, I was watching living, living, living muscle under your skin move. Yeah, it was a big long cut. It was uh, a good inch and a half. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, I've been careful with can lids ever since. Yeah, well, I watched this video on, uh, on YouTube. YouTube <laughs> and you guys, old as you are, some younger, some older, um, are taking these, like, knives, and they tie them all, tie a whole bunch of knives, like, uh, four to eight knives. Yeah. And they're all very sharp, and they take them, put them on a rope, and they fling them over their shoulder all at one time. Why? Oh, um, well, that's a good question. So they show that they are a good person. They're like tough or something? So they cut their back um, with the knives? Yeah. Yeah. That's dumb. And they got they got a guy standing there after if they do enough damage, then the guy tells them stop, stop, you can stop now because uh, wow. they have the guy lined up to do it. And the guy do it over and over again. Big old cuts down their back, ten inches long or not longer. Is this in the America? Is U.S. Is this like a test of manhood thing, Marshall? Oh, yeah, dice game. Um, it's over there in one of them countries. Like Taiwan or something? Or Thailand? No, it's more... Indonesia? Um, Syria. Oh, oh, like the Middle East? Yeah. It's like, what the some, fuck, some sort of man? Is that what that's called? Um, it's you're getting into the gang, or, um, I'm not making sure you don't get your head cut off, so you, you want, just you go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, we're going to roll the dice, Mr. Ginsu. Three. Sweet. Oh, uh, like Dan. Oh, four, five, one. Oh, uh, uh, we lost. Nobody have any points yet. Let's see what number Freddie picked. We're going to take a look at this commercial, too. Now, is that a six or a nine? <laughs> you can't pick nine. That's a six. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Last year. I was confused. Uh, Today. I was Last year today. I was living in upside down land. What's it gonna be? In Na Na Land. Yeah, upside down land. Na -na. Oh, you're a bat. Yeah, hey everybody. Whoa, it's the commercial. We're talking about wards today. Have you ever gotten an award? Mandy's here. Hey. Oh. Elias on the phone. Hi, Elias. Oh, this is where we decided to do the Grim County, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we lost an award one time, remember that? This time last year? Oh, yes, because you told me about it. We're going to have some awards, we're going to give away some awards next month sometime. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. You want to win an award? Call the number. On TCTV, channel 22. I don't even know what our award's going to be yet. What was the glue for, anyway? Uh, you just had glue on the glue program? for when you want things to be... Together. Two things that are not together, you want them to get together. We'll Wanna play the last dice game too, or just yeah, uh sure. um alright, here we go. We're getting it all out of the way just in case. And yeah, Mr. Ginsu, we got some more award categories. Uh do you wanna <laughs> you, you remember you remember stuff in Thurston County? You uh what's your what do you think the best convenience store in Thurston County is? 
but I pass. Pass? Yeah. Alright. Okay, how about... I don't hit that many convenience stores. I just hit the gas station. Well, that counts. That counts. That's the same thing. Well, um... Then I get... Well, I don't want to say. <laughs> okay, best part. That's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, two ones. Two. I have a two. And somebody's two. a four, right? Two ones, two fours. No, twos take it because no one, no one voted for four. So it's one, one, two, so, uh, four, like David, and five. Uh, oh, yeah. Z one, one, two, Zilger? four, four, five. Yeah, David Zilger. But uh, I won. Ones and fours. Right here. So you picked a four? I have a two. Oh, you are the winner, sir. Your other winner. What about uh, best park, Mr. Ginsu? Say what? The best, best park. Park. The best park in Thurston County. Oh. Okay. Um, that's a good question. I pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job, Mr. Ginsu. Those are the only two new categories so far, but we'll keep you updated. Yeah, we well, I can not come up with either of them. Yeah, that's okay. You know, you're you're not probably because I don't I've never go to the park. Yeah. Well, do you remember the name of any park in Thurston County? No, you know, you want you he's he's doing it right. You want to pick the best one, and yeah. he doesn't feel like he knows. Yeah, I, 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 I can't remember. You don't have to be super accurate about either, but uh, you don't want to ask Yeah, I'm waiting for someone to say it's that park over. Over up there next to that other place, that one. That's the park. Why not? When oh, you mean, the, the, you mean that one park? Yeah, yeah, that Talk one. Right. Yeah, that That's one. one. <laughs> when did you, uh, that one park, that one. When did you cut yourself? That right? one. Last night? No, just freaking a couple hours ago. Oh, okay. But it's, it's fine. Whenever, whenever I went to fucking smoke some more pot, because I found some more pot. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to Oh, that, that will kill the pain for sure. Smoke it. No, he's got to smoke it all so he can't smoke anymore. Oh, that'll... That's right, that's right. That'll as soon as I'm done with his last gram, I won't have no more. Well, he, he don't need to kill the pain. I mean, he was trying to... He cut himself in the process of trying to smoke in the first place. So it's not like he was trying to smoke to fix the pain. He caused the pain. Well, it fucking did something. I ripped out my gourd, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Is this the last time though? After this, you're gonna be have to be uh, back to being sober. Yep, yep, yep. Cherish this Monday afternoon. Yep. Weed. I oh, can't yeah. help myself. Sunny Monday weed time. A little bit of weed if I can. I mean, it was sitting there, and I'm like, God damn. It's the end of the show. It's the end of the show. Hey, fuck it. It's the end of the show. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thanks for Thanks for showing up. Thanks Freddie for showing up. Yeah. And thanks. Uh, thanks for it. Thanks for, yeah, thanks yeah, for leaving thanks messages. For up. Yeah. Thanks for leaving messages and uh, answering your phone, and not not. Uh, I, I try. Thank you for not bleeding until you pass out and have convulsions. Yeah. Look out. Right. Yourself. Well, I don't. I don't really bleed like that. Call your neighbor. Oh, I'll I sure pass bleed. out. I bled. Just like see blood. I lost so much blood. It was crazy. Call your neighbor because you don't want to be bleeding by yourself. No, I don't don't need to. I just I wrap it up and tie a tourniquet on it if I got to. And then now that it's fucked, I got the insurance, I can just show up to the hospital and get picked up. of the program. Your daily hour with me. Yeah, hey everybody, it's the commercial. What's going down? We talked to Mr. Ginsu today. Yeah. We do some more of the Creamy County Awards. 
Who's the best comedian? Carl! Oh. We're on every night at 11.32 a.m. Yep. Looks like John Webster. Yep. He's a good guy. Everyone's good. Well, okay. Maybe not everyone. 360 or 364 Call and leave a message. State and Capitol, come on by. Who's that?